Hey guys, welcome back. Alright, so today we're going to work on the Miata. We put our harnesses in a while back, but we got to get our seat finalized, which we've had our seat bolted to the floor for a long time. But what we haven't had is a seat back brace, which is required for NHRA rules. So let me show you how we're going to do this. It's actually going to involve a custom part that we offer. It's on our website at Pat Performance, and it's also in our eBay store. So it's these little brackets. Well, hopefully they work. We're about to find out. So what you can see... You buy this plate, and I bought the seat, they're both from Kirky, so it seems like it would be easy, but the problem is this needs to attach to the shoulder bar, and it doesn't come with anything to do that. So this is real simple. I just machined some half circle pieces. Let me show you those. I got a bunch of them. And so the idea, of course, is that two halves will clamp over the shoulder bar. I've got some bolts. So you'll tighten the bolts, and it clamps to this, but the bolts also go through and hit that uh, shoulder, the seat back brace. So one bolt kind of does all three things. So if you loosen the bolts, you could like rotate it or and if you got slots in the seat back brace, you could adjust it. But once it's happy, you tighten everything and it locks it all together. So pretty simple. Made a few extras. Maybe somebody will buy them. But I want to see if it works because I think this is going to work and actually make it easy. Before this, I was contemplating all kinds of stuff like welding, but I didn't like welding for what it is. And then I finally thought of this. And I was like, hey, let's just do that and see if it works. So... Here's the two extras. So what I did, so far it's easy. I left a gap under here so there's room for your seat belts. No issues there. And basically we're gonna just grab like a Sharpie and mark the outside of this. I just kind of clamped it up. You can see that here's looking at the seat base. Looks good. So we're just gonna grab a Sharpie and mark this, take it off the car. And we'll mark our holes, drill the holes in this plate. We also gotta drill the holes in this. So I guess I need to do go ahead and do that too. And then we'll, well, if it all works, you basically just put the bolts in and we're done. So, we'll see if it's really that easy. Alright, just got this marked up. Pretty simple. Now we'll pop these clamps out of the way. Drop everything. And uh, go mark our holes and drill them. Okay, so I had an idea. I was about to try to somehow mark the inside of these holes. And then I realized, what if I just clamp this and use the hole as a, basically as like a jig? to guide the drill bit through. So, we're going to give it a shot, see if it works. Well, let's see what happens. Well, that was easy. Take a look. Just another clamp. Boom. That wasn't bad. All right, well, we're going to do that on the other side. Let's bolt this sucker up. There we go. I think that's pretty good.
There we go. Got our holes drilled. Pretty easy. Nice. Let's give these a quick deburr. Deburr tool is kind of dull. You need to change the blade, but it's aluminum, so it'll still work. Anyway, there we go. Now she's ready. Let's go put it on the car. All right, so one thing we haven't done yet, we got our holes here to bolt to the shoulder bar, but this face is what it hooks to the seat. We got to drill some holes in this. Let's figure that out real quick. So I grabbed me a block of wood so that whenever I drill this, I don't like go through my bench. We need to put a mark. Let's see. So here's like a bend line where they built the bracket. So we're just gonna like offset from that a little bit, maybe quarter inch or so. Should probably be enough. I think that's plenty. Probably do whatever you want. I want them kind of close because this bracket's not perfectly flat. Let's just say that. Draw a line. Could use a caliper. Just run the caliper off this straight line here. Not everybody's going to have a caliper, but it's an easy way to do it. So is a pencil on a straight edge. There's this line. We'll probably pull the bolts back. Eh, what looks right. Let's just go with three quarters of an inch. So three quarters back from that edge. Do the same thing over here. Three quarters. And there we go. Now we got a spot to drill. So we'll drill those, drill it on the other side, and then she should be able to put it in the car. drilled get these deburred try it out on the car so just a fun fact but these holes remember we didn't get too close to this edge so this because we didn't we actually left room maybe this shows up but i can actually get my deburr tool in here and you can see when i swing the tool it's getting close to the bottom had we drilled that hole too close i wouldn't be able to get this tool in there granted there's other ways to deburr stuff but this little tool is handy so that's another little benefit of having having that space. All right, here's our bracket. Got our holes drilled. They're all deburred. Let's go put it on the car. All right, so here's our bolts. This is all like grade eight, some kind of, I forget if it's cadmium or whatever, yellow zinc, probably yellow zinc, but they're coated so they don't rust. We're gonna bolt this up. Hopefully I got my bolt links right and this all works.
pretty easy. Now that's in. Should be able to get this side. No, hopefully. So I took it back apart briefly just to put the washers on because I did forget those. But they actually fit great. They're basically the same size as the bracket. So we put them on the bottom as well. Let's see if I can get the camera in there. Maybe. Kind of hard to focus. It's dark. But anyway, got washers on both sides. We're going to tighten this up and then use a Sharpie to mark the holes on the seat back. Or the back of the seat, I mean. Okay, so just bolted it down. They're not torqued all the way, but they're pretty tight. Or they're like snugged up, I guess I would say. I just hit them with an electric ratchet. Anyway, looking good. Now we're going to get our, uh, try to get these holes marked. That part's going to be hard to film, but you can see we drilled the holes already, so... All we gotta do is reach in there with a sharpie. We could damn near reach in there with a drill and drill them as they are. I might look into that because that sounds easy. But what we'll probably do is mark them with a sharpie, take it out of the car, drill it then. A little more work, but that's probably what we're gonna do. All right, so we got these holes marked. Pretty easy, just pulled the seat back out. We're gonna drill these with a pilot drill just because I think it'll be better this way. We'll see. But I want to hit them with a bigger drill bit. That's one of the reasons. So the bolts are going to be 3 8 and the brackets are 3 8 but I want these to be 7 16 just to give me a little bit of freedom. That way, if there's like a slight misalignment or whatever, that I'm not fighting the bolts to go in and out. One of the good things about using this little drill bit, you might see me doing this. I'm trying to steer this thing to the center of the hole. That's why I'm doing that. close enough. Check this bit out. So like I said, we're going to run 7 sixteenths. And let's see what happens. Yeah, it said 7 sixteenths. Damn, that's a big hole for 7 sixteenths. Seven sixteenths. All right, holes are drilled. Just deburr these, and hopefully, we're good to go. So right there, there's actually two layers of metal. It's a little weird. All right, so we just completed the installation. Uh, everything went pretty good. Pretty much worked like we thought. We just used a friction clamp to clamp this and this together to this. Once it was all in place, we marked the outside, took it off the car, just clamped the two parts together and used the the split halves actually as a jig to guide the drill bit. Drilled our holes through, stuck it back on the car. While it was off, we did drill these holes uh, to connect to the seat. So we could use a Sharpie to transfer to the seat, drilled those holes, and that's pretty much it. Stuck the bolts in. I don't have the right bolts yet. So these aren't actually, there's no nut on the backside. I was just making sure that it goes together. Got to order some, uh, same thing I used down here. These are like button head. Uh, socket head like button head socket cap screws i guess so i'm going to order some of those just so they're kind of rounded and lower profile but overall this worked this is something i was confused on i wasn't sure how i was going to do the seat back brace how i was going to hook it up and these little brackets made it easy so if y'all ever need any check out my website patperformance.com or if you go to ebay uh, i have them on there as well all right guys hope y'all enjoyed this and until next time y'all take it easy